Medicalous. Hey guys, this is Jamal with GospelMusicians.com and we are representing a new improved version of Medicalous. I know you guys have been waiting for me to update this and I had to wait until it's right. One thing you know about us, we don't release stuff unless it's legit. So finally, here is the new interface for Medicalous. As you can see, everything is on one interface now. Nice and tidy and clean. All of the channels, you can see the court names. Everything is sleek. Everything is new and everything is beautiful. So here we go, Mediculous 3.0 Gospel Musicians. For those who have never heard of Mediculous because we have not advertised this in a while because we wanted to wait for this version, if you look at all of the internet and you look all over the internet and you see keys lit up like this, this is our software. This is the software that thousands of uh, uh, YouTubers and, and online instructors, piano instructors, this is the software that they are using. They're using our Mediculous software. So our, our software is used all over the world to represent the keys on the screen for YouTubers. You guys just don't know who it is. Well, it's us. And um, we're going to do an overview of Mediculous for you. So to give you a little background, when gospel musicians, when we used to grow, when we grew up and learned how to play, when I grew up and learned how to play in the 80s, we had a tape recorder that we would have to rewind over and over to hear a certain part to play it by, um, to play it by ear. Well, now in 2016, you don't have to do that anymore. So you've heard of software that actually slows down music and slows it down and so you can learn it. And then you've heard a software that actually can play a MIDI file so you can see the notes on the screen. And you've also heard a software that you can actually play the notes and see the chords. There's a whole bunch of softwares out there that do all three of those. Mediculous does all three of those and more. Okay, so let's talk more action. So you wake up in the morning and you say, wait a minute, I want to increase my jazz chops. I want to increase my jazz chops. So in order to increase, increase my jazz chops, I wonder if I can find some MIDI files from one of my favorite musicians, Bill Evans, okay? So you go on, you go on old trusty uh, Google and you do a search for Bill Evans MIDI. Lo and behold, Bill Evans uh, .nl, maybe this is his website, I don't know. He has some free MIDI files. So you go here and you scroll down let me see here this is some of his music bill evans oh here's this midi file okay it's a lot of bill evans midi files all right so let's uh download somebody my print so we right click and we save save link file as yep desktop somebody all right so we downloaded that and we say i'm going to learn some midi chops from bill evans himself so I take this MIDI and I drag it right into the browser. As you can see here, we have the key signature, we have the timestamp. I can change this to bars and beats. Um, we have the tempo at 212. We see the key signature is converted because when you load a MIDI file, all of this metadata is in the MIDI file. So it's three fourths time and there's nothing else but to play the file. So we pause it. As you can see, you don't see the file, but you see the MIDI action right here. So then what we do, we click on K for keyboard and we say, hey, I want these to be in blue. All right. So this is channel one. This is the keys that he's playing. OK, now let's hold on here a little bit because we see that there's another channel being played here. That's probably the bass, and it says acoustic bass right here. So not only do you load a MIDI file, but it automatically loads the, the, the instrument that is playing. So what we say keyboard, we want the bass to be in the color red, okay? The bass is going to be in the color red. Now just for kicks and grins, I want my keyboard to be in the color green. So the bass is in red, the key, the piano from the MIDI is in blue, and I, and I'm in green, okay? So let's play it.
Now, as you can see, the chords are, are lighting up here. Let's turn these drums down a little bit. Now, I see something wrong already. Um, just by the way they're playing the chords, he's actually in the key of B flat. He's not in the key of C. Sometimes when you load MIDI files, people uh, who make the MIDI files, sometimes they just don't take the time out to uh, put all the metadata in there. No problem. Mediculous now has the ability to right click on the key and set the root key. So we set the root key to B flat major. So now it's set. Now all three of us are playing at the same time. Now he's hitting some crazy chords here. Now what I want to do is I want to I want to punch in and punch out some points where he's actually playing some good chords. So I hit in Punch in. Now punch out. So we call that point crazy chords. So I just punched in and I punched out points and times. Now let's slow this down. Let's take this tempo all the way down to say 105, all right? That, that, that chord right there, that chord right there was nice, was nice. So, so let's take it back a little. So. Boom, 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 boom. So you practice along with them. So he did something like. So, so, so. We say. And you take the time out and you learn all of Bill Evans' uh, licks and tricks. All right. So um, now this is the thing that you guys are probably waiting for. The problem with this whole thing, and let's go back to here. Let's slow this down a little bit. Now. The thing that you probably hate is that these general MIDI sounds sound terrible. They are absolutely terrible. But we have a solution for that in Mediculous 3.0. The solution for that is to load your own VSTs and your, your own audio units that you already have on your computer. So what we do is go to V here for VST. We say, let's use VST. All right. Let's go to our trusty UVI workstation. All right, we go to our trusty UVI workstation right here, and we learn a, we load a nice looking, nice sounding piano. All right, so C7 Grand Yamaha C7, that'll do it. So we load that up. Nice. All right, we mute this, and now let's listen to the piano. Much better. Much better. Uh, we're not done there. Let's low, let's use VST again. Let's go to UVI workstation because I think we got a nice uh, acoustic bass uh, running in here somewhere. And uh, the upright, there we go. So let's just do the upright bass uh, overview. Let's just do all. Let's just see what we got here.
So we're loading the VSTs and the audio units that are already on our own computer so we can change those ugly general MIDI sounds. Now it probably won't sound good because this is a super realistic one, but it's just to give you an idea of what we can do with Mediculous. <laughs> Let's go back to that chord. Let's go back to that chord. Oh, 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 let's go back to that chord. Hold on. Okay, so, um, so hit the B flat. Oh, he, 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 okay, so he hit. All right, this is just that uh, G minor, and then he, he leveled it off with the. You see how my chords overlay over these? This is to practice with the chords with them. All right, let's get these ugly chords again. Oh, okay, okay, that's ugly. That's a tritone. That's a tritone. Ooh, oh, okay, he just, this is a seventh. Okay, this is a, s and then he went, ugh, ugly. So he went, ah, so this is what I would do. So we're in the key of, um, mm, interesting. So, so, okay, so that's that jazz seven. It looks like a seven, a 13, I'm sorry, a 13. And then if I do this, this is a seven, but this makes it a 13. So, so he's in the key of B flat. And then, <laughs> All right, so we got Bill Evans here. Now, this is a little simple. I, I like the key of B flat, but I want to learn the song in E flat. So what I would do is I just simply change the key, shifts everything up, and now we're going to learn the same song in E flat. Now, see, that's that, uh, uh let me see. So you go over his fingers, guys. That's that just seven over, or we can, what's the bass note on this? 13, here we go. So, or, or. All right, so let's go, let's go, let's learn. Oh, and. See, uh, you rip them. You just rip them. You don't have to rewind. Ah, that's that. That's that. Ah, see, look at that E flat tritone right there. Uh, and then he hits that. Hits this. So he's two hand. This is my left hand. That's a nice chord there. Uh, so. So you see how you can just go and just rip the guy. You can change the key. Oh, I want to learn this in the key of C. You know what I mean? Um, let's change it to the key of C, guys, because I, I just can't get with the flats. I want to learn it in the key of C. So you pause it, you see the chord right there, you know? Now he's getting off into some craziness now. Let's see where that. Since uh. So. Oh, so he's going to. So let's hit the, let's pause it so we can get. So he's going to. This is actually a jazz move, so. So that's what he's kind of doing. Notice, notice gospel guys, the jazz stuff is not too far off. So.
So, all right. Anyway, so this is showing you the power of Mediculus and the power of what Mediculus actually does. As you can see, the power of this, let's play this. We are, let's go over what we're doing. You can set the root key from a MIDI or an audio file. You can change the tempo. You could set loop points in and out. And once you set the loop points in and out, you can learn difficult sections of the song. You don't have to worry about the ugly general MIDI stuff because your general MIDI stuff is taken care of with your AU or VSTs that are already on your computer. You have the real chords here. You have the different, uh, um, each uh, uh, MIDI channel can have its own color. So you can have the left based in red, the right keys in, in blue, and your keys that you're playing along with it in a different color. So you have the key here, you have the tempo, you have the key signature, you have the beats and bars. As you can see, it's on sync. And you could change the key. So this is Mediculous Overview, the MIDI. Um, this is the overview of the MIDI. This is gospelmusicians.com. Please visit mediculous.com for more information. This is, in my opinion, the best learning software ever created. And we're going to show you a little more. Gospel Musicians coming at you. Mediculous.com <laughs>